Hey guys and gals, Nary here from Jerry Queen Gaming, and some of you may on Twitter, The Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of Roads Yet Traveled. So, y'all, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right back into it, shall we? Alarm Chan, you are up, and let's go! Alright. <clears throat> After investigating Sector C, both items are found by the found by the sinks, untouched. Drin was, Drin was conferred their belongings and asked to never be reminded that this happened. Log incident under closed. The wall goes blank. Hmm. Weird. Day... Two. Every time I open my eyes, there's a small part of me that expects to just wake back up home. Wake up back home. In my dorm, or maybe in my bed. But it never happens. And every time consciousness comes flooding back, I'm less and less surprised that I'm not there. Not to say I'm any closer to accepting the, what is going on here. But I have to acknowledge that it may affect me, and may in fact be my life for now. Hopefully I'm past being assaulted by security officers, but I have a feeling I still have a long way to go. Hell, I think I still have a long way to go just until breakfast. It's still dark in here and I'm bored out of my mind walking the perimeter of my cell like some caged animal. The days must be longer here. By how much I cannot say, but they surely must be. If marks are anything like two hours, then it's way longer. I'll just have to wait and see. Maybe if my phone isn't totally destroyed after Tyr is done with it, I can try to figure it out and try to figure it out using a using a stopwatch or something. It doesn't matter. I'd be better off just learning to count in marks. Uh, might as well lay back down and try to rest while I can. I know Doc said he was going to be busy today, but there's always but there always seems to be something going on around here. Someone to come and ogle me. I'm not able to get back to sleep. Unfortunately, I just zone out until I hear the door opening. I'm too tired to eavesdrop, so I just wait until they come and come to see me. Good morning, Rius. I brought you breakfast. Oh, it's all the same. But I think soon we'll be able to try and figure out what else you can eat. Your blood work has been coming back and it seems good. Well, I can only presume it is. It's hard with such a small test group. And... He notices I'm just staring at my breakfast. Oh, sorry. Right. I have a tendency to ramble a bit. <laughs> Now, before you eat, I would appreciate it if we could take another blood sample. That would really help me out. Ah, uh, I wasn't really expecting to get blood again so soon already. Especially not early in this morning. I suppose I am lucky they haven't forced it out of me or something worse. Seeing no harm in it, besides the needle, I just hobble over to the dock and present my arm. He's as gracious as he is competent, taking another sample with little to no discomfort, truth be told. Thank you! I promise I'll make this worth your time. All of it. We'll have you out of here soon. Then where will I go? Um, well, I'm sorry that I cannot stay today. I've been behind in my other duties. Even though I am desperately trying to find capable hands to take care of things so I can focus more on you. It seems that everyone has been busy. Hopefully in a few more days I'll be all freed up just to focus my efforts here. But until then I really must go. Enjoy your meal. I'll try to stop by with lunch. And with that he's gone leaving me with a sore arm and a bowl of tepid cereal. At least the lights are on. Maybe I can start reading my book. I do have an essay due on it. Heh. <laughs> Heh. Not gonna bother writing that one. Sorry, Teach. With my morning sarcasm out of the way, and since it seems like Merrick isn't in the mood to talk, I decide to lie back down and read. Robinson Crusoe, huh? Huh. Well, let's see what this is about. Hmm. Damn, this book is, uh, dated. Fuck, why did it have to be trapped with something like this? Gah, might as well finish it. Got nothing better to do. Eh, it's fine, I guess. Shit wasn't so pertinent on the things right now, though. In some ways, at least. Looking around, I realize, I realize I have no, I realize I have no idea how much time has passed. It's really disorienting being stuck here without a clock or of any kind. I'm still not motivated to go bother Merrick again. I really don't know where we stand after yesterday. So I'm going to assume poorly and give him some space. Surely I packed another book to read. Anything? Scrounging through my meager belongings proves fruitless, as I cannot will anything new into being. Seeing the writing on the wall, I decided to give Crusoe another shot, even though I just finished it. I'm gonna lose it in here! Halfway through my halfway through my reread, I'm interrupted by the sound of the door opening, which is truly a godsend, as I could use a break. Second, y'all, it is water. It is actually not water time. Coffee time. Hmm. Ah. Uh, I just sit up and face the wall. 
I realize how silly this must be for them if I'm looking the wrong way. I look like a fool. Or they could not even be looking at me. Then what? It's, I'm just staring at a wall for no reason. Fortunately, the wall comes down and I'm met with an unexpected face. And that maintenance dog is just standing there. I just blink a few times and wave. I kind of figured it would be Merrick or the Chief, but not this poor guy. What was his name again? Run? Ruin? Ron? Yeah, that sounds right. I notice he's alone out there as Merrick's is suspiciously missing. Ron seems to be... Ron, Ron seems to pick up on me looking past him curiously. Uh, what voice should I do for Ron? Ron? Ren? Why the fuck you pronounce that name? Ron? 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 Ha! Brown? 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 Maybe? Rune? Rune! Rune sounds like a good name. We all love Rune. <laughs> Uh, oh, right. Uh, it must be weird to see me here. Uh, Officer Merrick is just outside stretching. He said he needed a break. Uh, I'm Rune. Uh, nice to meet you. He raises his mechanical paw to greet me, but ends up just bashing it against the glass wall with a metallic thud. Oh, right. Huh. <laughs> Sorry, this isn't a great way to meet someone. Oh, uh, we've kind of met before. Twice, but those weren't really the best. Are you okay? After yesterday, I mean. You don't have to tell me. Wait, you can't tell me. I can only tell you. Right. Sorry. Wow, this guy is really just like this, huh? Almost as airheaded as I am. Maybe more, actually, all things considered. Which is quite the feat. He seems nice, though. I should try to spark up a conversation. Somehow. Oh! I think Doc, le I think Doc left me his whiteboard. That could work. Here, Rune. Let's try this. Got any more questions? No, you don't understand. I can't understand you. I just stared at him, pointing at the, to the whiteboard. Oh! Oh, right, drawing! Uh, can you draw me an engine? Maybe a surge breaker? Oh, I know! A fuse box! Is that not what you wanted? I'm sorry, I'm not great at this. I thought Dr. Senna would be here today when he, when he woke me up. After my alarm didn't go off. Well, it did, I just didn't wake up. I mean, I thought I said it. Okay, yeah, he's more of an airhead than I am. I surely understand how Merrick felt when he tried when I tried to get him to read to read to me. One way communication is beyond frustrating. Um, sorry. I was just told to keep an eye on you today and try to talk to you and accommodate you to you to uh, Karain uh, mannerisms. No, was it hospitality? <laughs> Karain? Is that what they call themselves? Well, I think about it. Merrick said something like that before. S so, uh. Do you like to read? You do have books where you do have books where you come from, right? Long sequences of words. Oh, by the filament. How do I describe a book? Now that's a question I can answer. Hop over to the table and grab my now dog-eared, dog-eared novel. I hold up to the glass to the glass for him. Oh wow! Real physical stuff. I mostly read with my, read with my monitor these days. It's kind of a lot easier to store long books and such when they are just all, all just well data. Not that I don't have my fair share of books back home. And a few here. But those are mostly ma manuals. Oh, is that what fashion looks like for your species? It's, uh, really. Uh, it's very nice, he says with a polite little nod. What is he talking about? Turning over the book, I realize the cover is a rendition of a man wearing destroyed rags and a torn up hat. Ah, yes, the finest the human race has to offer in terms of fashion. I just shake my head and no and sniffle a small, and stifle a small laugh. It's like a deal. Coffee time. Mm. Coffee is done. We are switching over to lemon. We are switching over to limoncello sparkling water or fizzy water. Yeah, fizzy water. This new dog, Karain, is really something else. Much less of a professional facade. I guess he isn't as high ranking as the others I've met. Maybe I think I remember Tears say saying he was the head of maintenance. That just account for something, right? I don't mind. I guess I kind of dragged him into all this by just bumping into him, I guess. Still, it's funny how he addresses me, even as a possibly dangerous alien. I appreciate that he just st just says what comes to his mind. Well, Merrick does that too. But he's just an ass about it. Definitely better than just lying. Not that I could tell if they were. If they told me I'm in another galaxy flying through space at light speed, I'd believe them at this point. Beyond the fact that they, they, just, that they just told me something like that already. Oh, uh, you okay in there, bud? Ah! Sorry. Shit. Now I'm, the, now I'm the one zoning out. I just nod and try to refocus on the present. I wonder if I can ask him some questions. 
I'm curious about his arm, amongst other things. That really does stand out. I know we had prosthetics back on Earth, but I'm fairly sure it wasn't anything that advanced. I'm trying to think of anything else to ask. But capitulate to the child just needs to know more about his cool robot arm. I decide to point to it and see he catches on. I feel so rude just pointing at it, but I don't really know what else to do. Fortunately for me, he seems to pick up on it pretty fast. He raises his, his surprisingly large paw, staring at it. Oh, this? It's just my arm. Oh, well, I mean, it's my new arm if you really need to get specific. Do you have prosthetics where you come from? I nod yes. Oh, well, it's just like that then. Probably. Maybe. How do I explain it? It's, uh, I needed a new arm, so I got one. I ca it's, that's kind of it. And then I control it with my neural. Um, well, that's not entirely the explanation I was expecting, but I guess he's right. I have seen prosthetics back home. Just never to this level. And wait, what's a neural? I just tilt my head to furrow my brow. Did you understand anything of what I just said? Sorry, it's hard to really tell you what to do and don't tell you what you do and don't get. What's a neural? Sorry, I don't understand you. Here, maybe I'll go over it slower. He steps close to the glass and holds his arm up for me to inspect. I can clearly see now. He also seems to have some metal on his chest and maybe even in his neck under the skin. Damn, it seems like the whole portion of him is bionic. The cool blue of his arm dances across the glass, creating wave-like reflections. They echo off of every small nick in the glass and every strand of fur on his chest. It's almost as if it got brighter when he approached me. It's quite calming. So this is my arm. It also acts as my monitor. A monitor is like a personal store data storage and recall device, amongst other things. They're pretty ubiquitous around here. M monitors, uh, not replacement arms. Well, actually, n never mind. Uh, right, monitors. It helps that I don't have to carry anything around like that anymore, although I can still check my pockets for it sometimes. <laughs> um, it's a new model, I think. Uh, new as in, like, two cycles old? The company bought it for me, which is great because I'd never be able to afford such a nice model otherwise. It has a full range of motion, although the touch sensors aren't the best, being a work model, not a luxury model. Sometimes I can barely tell if I'm bumping into things, or holding things. But otherwise, it's really strong. I can lift some really cool tools with it. I, I like scaring my coworkers sometimes, <laughs> in a fun way. It's part of a running joke. Um, s sorry, I can't really explain that part. Oh yeah, and it all works with my neural. It's like a, uh, computer chip? You guys have computers, right? I think, uh, Chief Sino said something about that. Uh, it's like a really, really small computer in my head that lets me control it. Second, y'all. Water time. Hmm. This water literally tastes like lemon cake. It's incredible. Um, it's like a really, really small computer in my head that lets me control it. You can't even see the scar. It's so small. Also, I can take my arm off, which is kind of cool. I'm supposed to do what do that when I sleep, but I always forget. <laughs> Most neural-based prosthetics don't really need to be charged. They either charge wirelessly or can use the other user's body like a battery. But I don't understand that part. <laughs> Ooh, excuse me. I only understand how to make small adjustments. I... I mean, I haven't made any adjustments uh, to anything. I managed to stifle a small laugh. I won't tell anyone, Rune, I promise. I say with a wink. I'm sure he didn't understand me, but he lets out a small smile nonetheless. But damn, that is impressive. From what he said, my impression is he basically has a power loader as an arm, which sounds kind of rad. I wonder if he can bend metal with his bare hand. A uh, paw. And the neural thing sounds really interesting. I wonder what else it can do. And that blue glow, it's so mesmerizing. I wonder if it keeps him up at night, though. Wait, I think I already know the answer to that. Huh. So, uh... What do you do for, um, work? I, I fix things. Kind of just anything. As long as it's mechanical, that is. I don't think Dr. Marowin would appreciate me trying to fix his patients. I'm a student, actually. Right, he won't understand. I have no idea how to pantomime being a student or studying, so I just decide to hold my book back up. This is kind of what I do. Read and write? It's close enough for now. Oh, did you write that? I'm sure it's really good. I'm afraid I can't read it, though. Because, well, you know. Hmm, close enough for today. I just nod and put the book back down to try and move the conversation elsewhere. The door opens and I see Merrick is done stretching. He, stand, he stands a wide off to the side, just staring at us. Rune seems to not have noticed his arrival yet. I offer a limp wave, which he seems to just chose to just ignore, walking past us and returning to his post. Uh, uh, oh, um... Hello, officer. So don't bother me while I'm on duty. And technically, I'm a lieutenant, damn it. 
Not some cheap, corrupt officer. S sorry Sir. Merrick just sits down, grumbling something, and checks his monitor. What a jackass. It's not really comforting to know he's so rude to everyone, and I... I mean, it's not really comforting to know he's rude to everyone, and not just me. I try to yell at him, but Rune is here. He can't even understand me anyway, so what's the point? Maybe I'll just tell you, tell Marrow about this. Ugh, whatever. He's not worth my time. Rune looks totally out of it, too. Maybe these two have bad blood. I can't imagine Rune doing anything, though. Whatever it was, it's probably Merrick's fault. I decide to tap on the glass to try and bring Rune back to reality. Fortunately, he hears me. Oh, hey! Uh... Bud? I'm sorry, I don't know what to call you. I think Dr. Merwin told me I didn't- told me, but I didn't write it down, so it's gone. I hope Bud is okay. I just nod. Right, cool. Um... Sorry, I, for I forgot- what were we talking about? I think I have to go soon. Uh, my co-workers are probably wondering where I am. I always hand- I always hand out the morning assignments and, well, in the morning. Oh, right. He's got a job to do. I wish he had more time to just chat today. Well, calling it a chat is a bit of an overstatement. He just kind of talks to me. All right, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and pause it right there. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell. Leave a super thanks. Your tip if you can, it always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.